بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, the next thing we'll try to get into the configuration, like like we have already seen the different rules what we want in the in the previous topics. Now we'll go in order. So already I have written the rules as per the order here. If you just see here, I'll be following this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and verify the configuration here. So the first rule is, so I'm going to assume this as my source. This is how I'm going to take. And then this is my destination. So I'm going to take this router one is the location where I'm applying. So all the rules, whatever I discussed, they all are common to router one. So basically, if you check here, these all rules are specifically common on the router one. So I'm going to take this common part here uh, as my destination here. But of course, you can also take it as source. Okay, if you take this as a source, then basically you will apply inbound. If I take this as destination, then you'll apply outbound. So it depends upon uh, the way you uh, write down the ACL rules. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down these rules one by one. So syntax I already explained previously. So let's say I want to deny the two dot user from accessing the one dot three HTTP service. So if you want to implement that, we need to go and say access list. So in my case, it is on the router one. So let's go to router one. And configure the rules directly here. Okay, so I'll try to configure directly here on the router one. So go to configuration mode, access list, and we're use some name or number here. We'll be using any number in between 100 to 199. So I'm using the ACL number as 145. And then what you want to do? Whether you want to deny or permit. Like in my case, I want to deny. Okay. Now, once you say deny, then we need to specify which protocol you want to deny. Now, in my example, again, I'm using HTTP service. So HTTP comes under TCP category. Okay, so we need to know that category of the protocol. Because if I'm listing the TCP here, then let's say, let me just quickly write from rough here. And if I say equal to, it is going to display all the protocols under TCP. Remember. So if I use TCP here, it is going to display all the protocol list under TCP. And if I write UDP here, let's say if I'm writing UDP here instead of this, and if I go and verify here, it is going to list me a different protocol sets here. Now this is very important to know because depending upon the protocol category you select, that listing of the services depends upon this protocol category. So in my case, this is going to be TCP. So I'll write TCP here. And what is the source address? Now the source address is 192.168.1.2.0 subnet. You can see the syntax above. So I'm going to write 192.168.2.0. So it's a network, specifically network. So for the network, we need to write the wildcard bits as 000255. This means that it is going to match all the address in this range, the first three portions, right? Any address starting with 192.168.2. And then we need to write down the destination address. So what is my destination address? So destination address is one single host. So I can write down as 192.168.1.3 host space IP address. Or you can also write this way. So you can also write down the IP address. And the wildcard mask is compulsory here, so I'm going to specify all zeros. So either way, both are correct. So I'm showing you both the options. So if you write this method or this method, both will do the same job for you. So both the options are correct. And then we need to specify what will be the operator. Now, in my case, I want to deny any traffic which matches HTTP, which is exact equal to HTTP, right? So which means the operator will be equal to so I'll be using equal to. Now once I give equal to, now you can either define the port number, like the www represents my HTTP traffic. So I'll be using port number 80. So you can write down the port number 80, or I can write down www. The, you can see the question mark here. It shows you www, and it uses HTTP on port number 80. So you don't need to really uh, worry about the order of the command because you can always use the question mark 
the iOS help, which will help you to figure out what will be the next uh, possible configuration here. So in my case, I'm just typing www, or you can type in port number 80. Both are correct. So done, this is your first ACL statement. Now the second one is, I want to deny the DNS service from the same. You can see the actual syntax over there. I'm using ACL 145, so don't change the number. Because if you change this number, this ACL will become different. So basically I'm saying access list 145 and then deny. What is the protocol? So DNS comes under UDP. So I'll be using UDP protocol comes under UDP. And what is the source address? So in my case, the source address is 192.168.2.subnet, the entire 2.subnet. And what's the destination address? Destination address is going to be one single host, 1.4, and the operator is equal to DNS. So DNS, we define in the form of domain. Domain is a keyword used to define the DNS service. So either you use a domain keyword or you can define port number 53. So both are correct. Now, similar way, you need to just go on write the same way, the different rules, like the third rule here. I want to deny the service because by default, almost all the traffic is allowed. So basically we want to deny some selected services. So that's the reason you'll see a lot of deny statements here because the rest of the traffic is by default, it is a permit. If you write permit any. So we say access list 145 deny. Again, this FTP comes under TCP category. So we have to specify the TCP. And what is the source address? The source address is one single subnet, 192.168.3.0, right? This is your source. And then the destination address is going to be one single host. So I'm writing 192.168.1.4 and the operator equal to FTP. So I can just type in FTP here. And the next rule, or oh, HTTP, HTTP, so same. I need to say access list 45, 145 deny TCP. And what is the source address? Source address is one single host. So I'm going to write 3.1. And the destination is 1.3. And the operator is equal to equal to 80, or I can write www. So I'm writing 80 here just for testing because I already have written www here. So I'll write 80 here. Anyway, both will work, both are correct. And finally, there is one more rule. I want to deny the ICMP traffic. So for denying the ICMP traffic, we can simply use the same ACL statement. But here, the protocol category comes under ICMP. So basically, the ping, trace, the some related ICMP related messages, the ICMP echo, ICMP reply messages. So they basically use ICMP protocol. So we need to specify the ICMP. So I'm saying ICMP here. And you want to deny the ICMP only between these two hosts because I don't want to deny for all between three and two, which means 192.168.3.2. I need to specify the host because one single host and going to 1.1. And if you use question mark, there will be some additional options like you can deny a specific messages in that ICMP we have unreachable messages, TTL exceeded messages, there are different types of messages. Uh, normally the ICMP uses echo request and echo reply messages. So if I don't define anything, by default it is going to stop all those messages between these two hosts. And finally, I'm going to permit all the remaining traffic because permit any is important because I said deny, deny, deny. And if I don't write permit any, automatically if the traffic is coming from any other source other than this also will be denied. That's what implicit deny. So in my case, I'm going to say access list 145 permit. And here the protocol category will be IP. Because again, if you know, we discussed IP is a main category in that again, TCP, UDP, ICMP, all come under. So when I say IP means TCP IP. So automatically all the remaining come under that. So we need to say IP, any, any. So two any's one any for the source and one any for the destination. So finally, we need to apply this. Um, 
finally we need to say permit ip any any so this is the configuration so configuration syntax is similar the only difference with the standard index entity is we'll be specifying the source as well as the destination we need to specify the operator and then the service name and also we need to define the protocol category so that particular service comes under which protocol category again the rules the way you write the order is same sequential order you know the first match logic the same thing apply for both the types of ACL standard or extended.